Anyway, uh, if there was a burning building with Dr. Hacks, Gravity Cat, Metro Cop, and Pill Obsessed Lewis in it, and you could only save one of your characters, who would it be? Metro Cop. Really? That was a pretty really? quick answer. Why is that? <laughs> Because he's well-rounded, and he's a hilarious, unpredictable mute. Okay. Well, not really a mute, but he doesn't talk much. Yeah. But the fact that he's a much more well-rounded character that doesn't kind of rely on one catchphrase yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, to go to, to be funny, you know, you know, beating people up and inflicting strange amount of mysterious yet effective harm against people it, it's quite funny while still being childish yeah it's yeah. like you know it it's just funny he's a lot more well-rounded i don't like the fact that a certain character can survive off of one quote or one action you know it's i don't know i don't know i don't like it so much well, so. fair enough and then uh, why is he is he your favorite character then yes he is so uh, do you like any other machinima in particular that stand out perhaps that you've watched um, yeah, I like Ross Scott's uh, Civil Protection. I really like that. Um, like a lot of uh, Kitty 0706's videos, the funny ones. I don't much care for the first person ones. They all feel like they're following a formula. Yeah. No, no offense. It's just, yeah. eh, that's just me. Um, I like a lot of DDoY 1991's creations. He hasn't come up with anything lately. He had to make a move. Uh, okay. To- Toronto. Uh-huh. Yeah. Makes fun stuff. Uh, even though it's not a machinima, Arby and the Chief was very well written. Mm, I found it quite the the it was written very funny. The fact yeah. that you can make a funny video out of playing with your dolls. <laughs> yeah. And just using Microsoft you know? some. Yeah. What did you think of the later episodes though? Because I, I sort of lost interest eventually. Uh the LA ones, I heard they weren't written by the same guy. Really? So that's why I didn't enjoy them very much. Oh. Um I didn't enjoy them because they felt like they were broken up into teeny tiny little episodes mm, right, that didn't go anywhere and it's just the writing felt you know, slow and uh, fair enough. Yeah. So, um, what's the most difficult part of making uh, an episode of the series? Probably the filming portion within Gary's mod. Yeah, because right. it's like I mentioned before, your contraptions break and a lot of things go wrong. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of timing and accuracy to like to make one rag doll. To, to rig up one rag doll to a running contraption and have him running into a wall probably takes a good. <laughs> 15, 20 minutes just right. to get him into the contraption. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Setting up you the need shots. a lot of time then, basically, to make each uh, each episode. Oh, yeah. And, you know, a lot of people tell me to hurry the hell up. It's all like, well, trust me, you're not going to want to get into a server and watch me do this. Yeah. <laughs> it is time consuming. It's boring to watch. <laughs> we, we have that problem as well. When we're yes. trying to set up a new scene, people are blowing each other up and all sorts. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. We well, that's why I don't people. film in servers. Yeah. People can't. Yeah. You know, the only person blowing one up is myself blowing myself up. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> Halo doesn't have that. Uh, yeah. So we, we just have yeah. to make do with what we've got. Yeah. So do, yeah. do you work alone mostly then, or do you, have you ever worked with anyone else? Not in a server, no. I work alone in a server, but in terms of um, modeling, I have a lot of modelers and mappers and reskinners. Uh, recently got a couple of LUA coders, Lua coders, if you will, um, working for me. And a lot of the times when I come up against something that requires, uh, you know, a custom touch to it, I come to them and Mm -hmm. they, you know, they bring forth their project. Yeah. So I work with a lot of people who have come forth with the skills necessary that I needed. So I work with them, but in terms of in server, I try to avoid it. Yeah. Too many problems. Yeah. Oh yeah. Too much. Uh, now, recently you had some problems with uh, the upload of episode 9 of Gmod Idiot Box. Uh, and uh, yeah. It's recently got my... back up, we've noticed. So uh, how did you? How did that all go down? Well, that was my first brush with somebody filing a false DMCA claim. Uh. And um, obviously it was false because, yeah. you know, the claim holder name was that of a dead woman. <laughs> who, nice, uh, nice. Oh my God. The dead yeah, I are writing pl- to I did you. plenty of research. She's she's long yeah. gone. But a lot of people were trying to come up with Facebook accounts and all this other stuff, trying to I figure guess. out what portion of the content was copyright. It's like, no, you don't get it. This is a trolling. You know? yeah. so, so you were yeah. getting a lot of hate, basically. 
Yeah, so about two days in, after I was completely sure that it was a completely false claim, because it was a pretty serious claim to make a counter DMCA and to find out that it was, in fact, the true claim holder. Um, after doing all the research, I had to file an automated claim because I couldn't get in touch with YouTube. I couldn't get in touch with them because they're completely run by robots. Yeah. Nice. Complete. That's always good. I've called, I've, like, the fans gave me numbers of people to call, none of which were to true people. It was entirely automated, and they always yeah. said, because we do not offer customer service at this time, it's <laughs> all so like, okay, when do you? In between the eight, in between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6.05 a.m.? <laughs> he mans one phone? I don't get it. It's the start so, of the Terminator. So the reason I wanted to call a real person on this was because the automated system had you supply an address and a phone number. And I wouldn't be bothered by this if the fact that the claim holder didn't receive that information. And the claim holder being false could have easily been getting my personal information. So I'm really? like, great, so now i got to lie about it. So mm. I... Uh, with no other options, and I, I wanted to get rid of the strike on my account. I didn't want to just re-upload and yeah. then hope I don't get trolled again, you know? So, um, I had to file the counter DMCA automated using a different address to a company. I gave the <laughs> I gave a company phone number, a company address, and, you know, I got my video back and said company will, get, will gain a new customer. So. Uh you know, will have to give us some uh, tips on that. I know, yeah, we, that, we, uh, we, I've, I've got a feeling we're going to head to some beef with our yeah, uh, Monk Dog series. Uh, All right. Well, we'll see. I mean, you you have to really do your research to make sure the claim holder is legit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, so finally, any advice for any uh, budding and aspiring machine makers using Gmod or just any other games in general? Number one, learn Gmod. <laughs> learn it well. Okay. Number two, effort. You know, you can't just... Mm. You, you, you can't just reuse you you can't just loop a clip over and over again for yeah. a minute people get really frustrated really easily with making gmod machinima because even though it's very wide open and versatile it also comes with a whole lot of trial and error and so you know as long as one person can actually stick with the filming aspect and, you know, be patient, take the time, and realize that there's nobody rushing you to do this. Mm. Somebody can make a really good video. Oh, also, don't use Windows Movie Maker. I will. <laughs> we know. <laughs> no matter so how good problems. you are, Windows Movie Maker will slow you to a crawl. You yeah, know, I'll don't, do <laughs> you know, if you have options, use them. Mm. I've advertised, I mean, you know, obviously it's going to probably cost you a bit of money. I've advertised using Sony Vegas bare bones. There's a $50 download on the Sony website. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to find because they want you spending $400. Yeah. But mm. they can't withhold the product from you. So therefore, they are legally obligated to sell the $50 one. They can hide it, but yeah. not completely. <laughs> to no <laughs> yeah. at least At least that's what I think they're doing. But, uh, you know. Vegas is a good starting tool. That's how I started. Um, it's not going to be the end-all tool, and if you want to move up to Adobe After Effects, more power to you. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, use an editor outside of Windows Movie Maker. Take the effort. Take the time. And you can really come up with something really good with Gmod. You just have to learn it first. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, um, thank you for speaking to us, uh, Daspo Shit. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure. We're both massive time. fans of yours, so uh, it's yeah. been great to... Uh, to get to know the person who's uh, created, well, our, most of our online viewing time, to be honest with you. <laughs> yes, we've had multiple uh, viewings of the episodes. Definitely. <laughs> I've actually got them all saved on my phone as well. So. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, dang. Your phone can actually run them? My can't. Mine can. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> Sony Ericsson Satio. So. Oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah, God right. awful phone, but it can run Gmod, so, well, the videos even. So, yes. Makes it worthwhile. So, yeah. Um, 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 and, yeah. So just thanks in general. It's been an, a great pleasure and an honor. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. For more game and machinima-related content, visit our channel or our website at www.yamarstudios.co.uk. Thanks.